matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. So here he is, the number one welterweight contender, getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170-pound title. Took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week he's appreciative of this opportunity, but he is confident he is gonna maximize it and lead as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. challenger to date can he go back home as the champion if he can another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the octagon has ever seen event of the evening. Masvidal is six years his senior. The rest is nearly identical. All right, now for the official introductions, we go to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC welterweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 20 wins, seven losses, and one draw. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Brasilia Discreto Federal Brazil, presenting the challenger, Vicente the Silent Assassin. Lukai! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 35 wins, 15 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Miami, Florida. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? All right, so two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground. They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about the defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Nice kick. 
just missed with the left there. Oh! Oh! All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good time. Left hook counter there yet again. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? You I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab, but you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch in the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Jorge Masvidal. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Great punch. Just misses there with the left. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Big kick. Well, if you're gonna leave your body that wide open, you're gonna pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block! Oh, single collar tie here. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. 45 seconds remain in the round. <laughs> 30 seconds now to go in round one. Oh, here comes the kick. That one blocked by Gamebred. Big kick land. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find some big. Let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch. And every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. His opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. All right, second round is underway. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round, a very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, that's... that's a on that punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that fish. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Single collar tie now. And now Masvidal's hook to the body now is blocked. Yep. <laughs> oh, big left. <laughs> right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. He lands a big elbow there. Oh! oh. Massive head kick. Masvidal's hook shot there looked pretty good, but blocked by the defense. 
So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Alright, he engages in the single collar tie. He's digging his entire weight into those punches to the body. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Well, oh, 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 oh. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. It won't take many of those. Able to land to the body there with the left kick. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch from the clinch. Final seconds here of round two. Ten minutes. Oh, is that a huge strike right there? I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what you, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're training to and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Good corner is able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Nice leg kick lands. Oh, that's a big right hand there from Game Bread. Boxing fundamentals, certainly not an issue for this guy. Very tight. He's as sound as they come, right? A lot of times you see a guy that comes from a street right in background. And they wing everything. They try to knock everyone out with every strike. Masvidal does not do that. He takes his time, he finds and picks his spots. That's why he's getting the finishes that he gets now. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punches. Oh, that is a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up there. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talks to your toughness. Now he's on top of him looking for the finish. Back to the feet. Just missing on the high kick there. Blocks the strike. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Ball left hook to the head, it's blocked. And he landed the right hand there. And now Masvidal's tough as it gets, but how about the size of that bruise starting to form on his right side? Good punch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the... Oh! And just like that, the fight is over! Oh! Woo! <laughs> a near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. Well, what a night for the UFC welterweight champion as he wins the belt for the knockout victory. He had some doubters coming in here tonight.
Those people are pretty quiet right now. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 13 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Vincent the son of Assassin, Luke And new UFC welterweight champion. Those words sound good. He's going to enjoy watching this one back. There's a new king at 170 pounds. There is nothing better than hearing and new. It's almost like the weight has been lifted off of your shoulders. The journey is complete. You are now the UFC champion.